The new year will bring a new commuter rail line in Tarrant County, and for residents, it can't come soon enough. That's because the trains have had horns blaring all day and night for weeks as part of a test system. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers is live in Grapevine with that story. Brooke? Well, Gilma, these train tracks are part of a 27-mile rail line that will soon go all the way to DFW Airport. But residents say every time a train goes by, it disrupts whatever they're doing, especially sleeping. Last night, there was one around three-something. It's every hour or every 30 minutes. One-something. Five or six times a night. About four o'clock in the morning, um, and it wakes you up. Neighbors on Dooley Court in Grapevine just want a good night's sleep. It's been about two weeks since TexRail began the testing phase on its new commuter rail line, which extends from downtown Fort Worth to DFW Airport. And in accordance with federal requirements, that means testing the horn at every crossing, every time. To put it simply, it's driving some of us up the wall. The consistency of it is just, uh, I don't want to say ridiculous, but... It's hard to have a conversation. So it's very loud, very long, and very intense. Trinity Metro says quiet zones will be in place once regular service begins January 5th. After that, the horns will sound only in case of emergency. But the safety crossing bells will continue. Having that, you know, that bell dinging, you know, every 30 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. They've asked Trinity Metro for solutions, but so far have gotten only the name of a company that could help soundproof windows on the neighbor's dime. They spent a lot of money on that train, so, you know, we just need a little help trying to live with it. And Trinity Metro sent us a statement today that reads in part, although the horns are a temporary inconvenience, the sound serves as an important safety reminder that service will soon begin. In operation, the trains will run quietly and will provide trips for nearly 22 hours a day at a maximum speed of 70 miles an hour. And as you can hear behind me, that's exactly what concerns neighbors. Live in Grapevine, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.